Hi, welcome to this video of using Microsoft Excel for simple statistics. We are going to talk about a few descriptive statistics today like the mean, median, the standard deviation and range and how to easily calculate it using Microsoft Excel. Well, we have a couple of assumptions here. The first assumption is that you know what mean, median, range, standard deviation are and also that the data analysis add-in has been installed. Um, I suggest that you could make this a full screen so that the small numbers in the next screen are easily visible. Alright, let's jump into the database. We have the data for the per capita GDP or the per person GDP in US dollars for 2012 for almost all countries in the globe. The data has been taken from the IMF, World Economic Outlook Database. Uh, there is a definition of GDP which I have picked up here from Wikipedia. Uh, and the per capita GDP is the GDP divided by population. Uh, there can be a debate if GDP is the right way to compare countries, but we'll ignore that debate and jump into our main task. So, the, if you look at the huge data that we have here, it's almost 180 plus countries for which we have the per capita GDP. We need to find the basic descriptive statistics. So. Whenever we have such a large database, we first should name the data. So I put my cursor on Afghanistan's GDP and press Shift, Control and the down arrow key to select all of them. I go to this name box on the te top left, select it and call it say per capita underscore GDP, enter. Alright, so this, all these data here have a name now, PC underscore GDP. Now, Let's work on this. How many countries do I have? So number of countries, well this is equal to count PC underscore GDP. So we count the number of countries. We have 185 countries in our data. I need the mean. So I say write the mean and say equal to average of PC underscore GDP. Look at this, irrespective of the size of the data, it's so easy. The median is equal to median PC underscore GDP. So the median comes out as 5,678 US dollars. We can find the minimum. I need the minimum or the smallest number. So I say equal to min. Um, PC underscore GDP back closed. I need the maximum number. So I say equal to max bracket open PC underscore GDP perfect and my range which is the maximum minus the minimum. So maximum minus the minimum to get 106,970 US dollars. I can calculate my standard deviation by the formula equal to STDEV bracket open PC underscore GDP. Uh, it does not matter that the name is in capital or small. And say enter to get a standard deviation of 19380. So we have a host of descriptive statistics variable calculated easily within minutes. Uh, there's an easier way to do this. If we have the data analysis tool pack installed, we can go to the data tab on the top here. We'll see the data analysis here. I select data analysis and then I scroll around to locate descriptive statistics, which is here. I select it. I get this box in the input range. I select PC underscore GDP. We already know this. My data is grouped in columns. I do not have the label because I've selected it from here. The output range, I select it, place my cursor here. I want the output here so I can compare both of the data sets together. I want the summary statistics. I want the largest number and the smallest number. We can select the second smallest, third largest, whatever we want here and say OK. And here I have my complete data of the descriptive statistics. The mean is 13,431. 13,431. In case I want the decimals, I can just increase the width of the column. The 
median is 5, 6, 7, 8. That's an interesting ascending order number, 5, 6, 7, 8. We see the same number, 5, 6, 7, 8 here. The minimum, maximum, both are exactly the same. Uh, the range 106,969, the range 106,969, the standard deviation 19379, the standard deviation here is also 19379. So we have a very easy way to calculate all the descriptive statistics needed for data analysis for even large data using Microsoft Excel. Thank you for watching.